Hi, my name is Terry Watt. Uh, I'm an adjunct professor at uh, Purdue University Global's Concord Law School. Generally speaking, on the internet uh, and social media, you can post anything uh, that you create. You can post graphics, you can post text, uh, you can post videos if you're the creator of them, and that's generally protected, subject to obvious limitations, uh, you know, involving other laws like uh, child pornography or hate speech or some other uh, some other areas. But generally speaking, you are free to post your own content on social media, with the caveat that the internet is forever. And uh, my guide, uh, the advice I always give to uh, clients and to students is don't post something on the internet. You don't want dredged up five, 10, 20 years from now in a job interview. So in terms of what you can say and what you can um, post on social media, there's certainly things that are true can generally be posted, but things that are false can get you into trouble. And occasionally you'll post things that are styled as uh, opinions, and in fact, maybe they want, might wind up being treated as facts. You know, for, exa for example, uh, suppose I said, I think Joe's Cafe has rats. Well, although that's uh, styled as an opinion, there are instances where that can be treated as fact. So generally speaking, the, the uh, easiest thing, easiest guideline I can offer is you can post truthful things. Uh, copyright protection is automatic. As soon as the work is in fixed form, it's covered by copyright, which sounds so great. But the problem is there's a caveat that most people don't know, and I, sometimes they find out to their chagrin that they didn't know it. But this right that you can protect your own works is limited in the sense of you, the courts are closed to you until you obtain a registration from the US Copyright Office. So I can do the most wonderful artwork or produce the most wonderful song. And as soon as I'm done with it, as soon as it's in fixed form, it's protected by copyright. But if somebody steals it, I can't enforce my rights until I get a copyright registration. Um, yeah, First Amendment protects speech generally. The most protected speech is political speech that it gets the highest form of protection criticism of the government uh, is the most uh, protected form of speech and then as you go down from there you have less and less protection at the opposite end of the spectrum or near the opposite end is a commercial speech which is a speech about competitors, a speech about people's businesses, uh, the government can and will regulate that sort of speech. Uh, you've heard of false advertising. Uh, that is an example of uh, commercial speech gone wrong.